Cypher at the Hostel is basically uh, it's an open mic format for any you know newcomers in the city, or it don't gotta be a newcomer, but just anyone who's trying to you know share their voice. Um, you know, it's uh, we start off DJing, we grab a couple of producers from around the town, you know, let them play their beats, you know, everybody connects, you know, it's a big network type of deal. It all started with Sensory Collective, probably back in like 2014, 2015. They had the initial cipher at the hostel. Shout out Sensory Collective. <laughs> and um, anyway, Joe from the hostel asked if I wanted to take over the cipher. And I said, yeah. And then I started doing it. And I, I probably did like three or four on my own. And there was like, it was like nobody showing up. Nobody's showing up, and then I finally started like getting tech involved, and when tech got involved, that shit really fucking blew up. It took basically like really putting our foot into it, you know, like making flyers and shit. Cause at first it was kind of last minute type of deal, and we're like, damn, it's not working out. We're showing up, bringing the tables, bringing the records, and like, you know, it'd be minimal heads trying to make it work. But you know, we we felt like it was like a dope spot that we could make it work. And eventually, um, we're just like, yeah, let's, you know, forward thinking type shit. Started making flyers and whatnot. Uh, that was pretty much it. Once we made our first, like, flyer, we were like, all right, it's ahead of time. Three, four weeks ahead of time. Like, here we go. This time. First first Sunday of the month. Just, it started growing and growing. You start seeing the same heads coming through every time. It's like, start, you know, seeing familiar faces and... MCs and producers getting the love that they deserve. That was like, that was our thing. That was our end goal. Like, uh, oh yeah, who else? First off, Gabo Nano. Like, we watched him blossom like into, I want to say, one of San Diego's like cornerstone producers. Fucking Carino, for those of you that don't know, fucking SP. SP got a lot of love after he started playing here. Bonita Basics too, Monroe. And then we had, we've had cats too that already had names for themselves, like Abjo and Main One, and for sure Day Fade. Just booking everybody that we knew and just keep hip hop alive in our own little fucking way. Like, sure, but shout out to just like Rick Skills for always coming through. Homie's like a fucking rap champion and he always fucking shows out. My nigga's fucking crazy and he always proves it. A to Z, I remember him coming through like four years ago and like really him just developing his style and like getting that confidence on the mic and whatnot. So tonight is the fucking four year anniversary. Also the last cypher. But, uh, it's been good, G. It's, it was a good run. Like it was a way it was a good way to finish it off, probably. We, we had we had such a good time there. Yeah. You know, it's bittersweet. Bittersweet. <laughs>